How annoying is it when you record the perfect video only to find that the recording is the wrong way round? Let's learn how to fix that by rotating a video in Shotcut. So to demonstrate this, I'm actually starting with brand new projects. And that's because some of the problems that people face when they're rotating videos in Shotcut actually start at this stage. So the video mode here, as you can see, is set to automatic. What that means is the first file you add to your project, it's going to detect the settings and use those. So let's demonstrate what that means. When you click start, click onto the playlist and then add in a video that's actually the wrong way round. That is going to detect the settings on this video clip. And now the project is set to those incorrect settings. We can change that, but rotating the video at this stage will not rotate the canvas on which this video layer is sitting. OK, so you have to imagine that there's an invisible layer that you can't really see that's your canvas. It's like painting a picture and you're putting paint on top of the canvas but the canvas is always staying the same size. Well, we can actually change the size of the canvas by coming up to settings, going to video mode, and changing it from automatic to one of the predefined, or what I'm gonna go through with you now is how to add your custom sizes. So first of all, click on to add, and you need to give this a name. I'm going to name mine test, but you can do whatever you want. Especially if you plan on doing this regularly, use a name that makes sense because you don't have to do this every single time. It's just the first time that you create this video mode. Okay, now, so for me, this video mode is 19 by 20 by 1080. And actually what we want is for these numbers to be swapped around. So it kind of rotates 90 degrees. But for a moment, let's imagine that we don't know the resolution. How do we find the resolution for your exact video? Go to where your video is located, right click, click onto properties, and then on the details tab, you have your frame width and your frame height just here. What we want to do is make the width, the height, and the height, the width. So we want to swap these numbers around on the canvas that we create in Shotcut. So the height will become 1920, and the width will become 1080. Let's go back to Shotcut and do that now. Okay, now we also have to pay attention to the aspect ratio here. If you've changed the resolution, this aspect ratio will now also be incorrect. So we have to change that to the correct resolution. Now I've got 1080 by 1920, and if I type in into this website, 1080 by 1920, it will tell me my aspect ratio. Let's imagine I have a really weird width and height, and it will give me the aspect ratio to input into Shotcut. Now, this is the first number, and this is the second number. So you put the first number here, and the second number here. For me, the correct numbers were 9 by 16. The last thing we need to just pay attention to is the frames per second. Now, this is likely to be correct, but let's just double check it. Go back to your original video, right click, properties, on the details tab, you've got frame rate just here, which is set for me to 30 frames per second. So I now know that this in Shotcut is all set correctly. You can leave the scan mode and the color space to whatever you have automatically selected. Click on OK. And as you can see, that has changed the canvas, but it has not changed the video. So we're now working with the canvas at the right size, but the video still needs to be rotated. Luckily, it's quite easy to rotate the video. So now double click onto your playlist item. Now, just before we continue, if we're meeting for the very first time, then my name is Joe and this channel helps YouTubers edit their videos and use free software. If you're creating YouTube videos regularly and not seeing the growth you'd hope for, you're probably missing one or more elements of the video creator framework. You can download the free PDF in the description below to get started. Now, let's get back to the video. So it's red around the edge. Click onto filters, click on plus, type into the search size. It's going to come up with the size, position and rotate tool. And now you either want to rotate by either 90 or 270 degrees. 
For me, I want mine to be facing that way, so it's 90 degrees. Obviously, you can see lots of black around the screen here, so now we want to zoom in by using the slider or the exact numbers. For me, when I'm doing a 16 by 9 video, I find about 179% zoom is what you would need. You do lose a couple of pixels around the edge with that, so you may want to experiment if you don't want to lose any frames at all. For me, that's fine. And now my video is the right way around. That is the first method and the first problem that you could be coming up with with your project. Now that you know how to swap the canvas around, that is actually the hardest part of swapping a video's orientation. The last two methods explain slightly different scenarios, but really you've probably got the tools now to go away and rotate your video in the correct way. Let's cover those other two options now. So I'll start a new project to demonstrate this. So method two is where you actually already have your video mode set up correctly, but you import a video that's incorrectly positioned. So in the last example, I made this video mode called test, which is a vertical video mode. I'm now going to start the project, click onto the playlist, and then just like before, drag in my footage. As you can see, this now automatically comes up with the canvas the correct way round because we set the video mode. It's no longer on automatic, it's on test, indicates with this little circle here, but the video displays still the wrong way around. So if you're doing this on a regular basis, instead of having to play around with all the video mode, that's already set up. And now you can just focus on doing the second part of that, which is rotating the video. Select it, make sure it's got the red outline, click onto filters, click on plus, size, position and rotate. Rotate by either 90 or 270, zoom in by the correct amount, and there you have it. Nice, quick and easy. Now there is one other scenario that you may be facing and we'll cover that right now. This is where you have your video mode set to automatic and in your playlist, you have dragged in a video that you do want to be this way round. You're now adding a video clip that you actually want rotated. So the video mode is correct, the canvas is correct and this first video, let's drag it onto the timeline so it makes sense, this is how you want your video to start. But now you've got part of your video that's the wrong way around. With it selected in your timeline, come up to filters, click on the plus, go to size, position and rotate, apply the same settings again. And as you can see, that does not work. Why doesn't that work? Well, because you're still setting the canvas differently to the other two ways. So what you actually need to do in this case is zoom out of the video that needs to be swapped around. Once you've done that, you will have black on the sides, but you can't do much about it because you want this video to be full sized. Now there are some clever tactics that you can use to color this in or stretch this. And I explain that in the video that's coming up on your screen right now. Please consider liking and subscribing. And before you go, click or tap on the video on your screen right now, and it will continue to help you with Shotcut. I'll see you in the next video.